today I'm going to talk about X Store 500. X Store 500 is a recommendation from the International Telecommunication Union (ITU) that specifies a global hierarchical directory service. X Store 500 has four features. First of all, it's a standards-based directory service for those applications that require directory information. Secondly, it consists of a single, global, hierarchical namespace of objects and their attributes. Thirdly, it has data management functions for viewing, adding, modifying, and deleting directory objects. Lastly, it has search capabilities for customizing complete data queries. From an administrative point of view, the building blocks of X.500 directory service are directory management domains. An X.500 DMD is a collection of X.500 components that includes at least one directory system agent and is managed by a domain management organization. There are two types of directory management domains. First of all, administrative directory management domains are directory services managed by a registered private agency that provide public directory services. For example, EDDMDs are 411 and Bitfoot, which provide public X Store 500 directory services over the internet. Secondly, private directory management domains are directory services that provide private directory access. For an instance, a domain controller hosting active directory on a network running Microsoft Windows 2000. Three main components are involved in maintaining and accessing X Store 500 directory services. When a DUA issues a query, the query travels through a chain of DSAs and the result set travels back along the same chain. These queries use DAP while DSAs communicate with each other using the directory system protocol, DSP. Directory information base is the actual hierarchical database that contains all the information in a directory. X.500 uses a distributed directory hierarchy in which different subsets of VIB are found on different servers at different locations. From the user's point of view, however, the entire global X.500 directory appears to be accessible from a local directory server that a directory user agent connects to. A schema is used to define the various classes of objects and their attributes, which can be stored in a directory. The directory information tree is the naming hierarchy that describes the hierarchical structure of the DIB. Directory system agent is a particular server that maintains a subset of the DIB and provides an access point to the directory for DUAs to connect. Each DSA is responsible for a subset of the DIB and includes a set of naming contexts that define objects that are near each other in the DIT. DSAs also communicate with each other for directory replication purposes to ensure that each DSA subset of the DIB is current and complete and to maintain the integrity of the whole X.500 directory service. Directory user agents refers to the client software that accesses the X.500 directory on behalf of the user. DUAs can perform such actions as searching, reading, updating, and deleting information in the directory. Depending on the level of functionality of the client and the level of access granted to the user, the functionality of a DUA can be built into any type of software, including email clients, web browsers, or even the operating system itself. That's all about X.500 Directory Service. Thank you.